Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to consume Spring's RESTful web services from AngularJS. So I have here a basic Spring application with Hibernate enabled. So see my other video if you don't know how to configure Hibernate. But let's talk about how I set up this uh, project initially. So here I have a single controller with home controller, home page, and uh, home with hello world. Uh, the web config where it's a uh, basic time lift template resolver, template engine, and view resolver, web app in it, web root config, nothing you haven't seen uh, before if you are looking through my videos. So. And finally the database config here the data source, transaction manager, and finally uh, the model class app user with nothing more than ID, username, and password. Some services, one service actually to insert a user and the implementation of that user. Okay, so to add the REST services, let's start from the back end, then we will work from the front end. So let's create some method. So as the name suggests, I'm creating one uh, method for reading user by ID, updating user, deleting a user, and getting the list of all the users. And you have seen this before for insert user. So let's go to the implementation and add the new methods over here. Copy this transactional annotation to all the override. Okay. Now, <coughs> read user by ID. Then update user. Delete user. Finally, 
get all user Okay, next create a controller for handling the REST requests. And the methods are like before. response body now I need to send data in a format and uh, bind my uh, front-end data with the back-end so I'm going to use uh, Jackson JSON the core and data binding uh, libraries so these are my previous libraries WebMBC TimeLift JavaX JDBC ORM connector entity manager. So I'm going to add two new dependencies to it. So that's get. And a couple of other methods. Sorry. Get with IDs. This is for adding a new user. Here I'm going to get the user from front end using the response body. So it will be request body. Adding that. Finally, let's do the same for update.
finally one for the delete Let's do the update now. Okay, so this is the back end. Now let's go to the front end. First, we need to get the library. So I'm using the CDN. And in here, like all other Angular app, we need to add ng app. Any name. So I am copying and pasting some codes because this is all about Angular code and I don't want to explain how Angular works. I'll see other video about how it works. So yeah. So here first I'm going to display all the user. Then in here I am calling post user when this form is submit for uh, posting creating a new user with username and password then showing the new user after that getting user by ID same methods and showing after uh, getting that user same goes for updating this simple stuff and deleting so I have I'm I need to create an app.js for handling all these methods. Okay, so that's all for this video. In the next video, I will be continuing uh, about the JavaScript part, the app.js. So thank you for watching and don't forget to watch the next one. Bye-bye.